When we're children, we're told about our posture. It's important to sit up straight. Unfortunately, gravity is not your friend in this. Gravity pushes the head forward and causes the spine to generate. Now, if someone fails things like physical therapy and anti-inflammatory medications and even pain medications, they're often sent to me. Most of the time I do x-rays and MRI scans to evaluate what their spine looks like on the inside, but I pay most of my attention to how they look on the outside. I don't treat pictures, I treat people. When you look at someone's posture, you can tell if they're sitting up straight or if they're leaning forward. And that gives me a very big clue as to why they're having their pain. Now think about it. We were put together with a spine. This is actually pretty close to the size of a human spine. If this is your neck and the head up here is essentially a 15-pound bowling ball, how is that a mechanical advantage? That's a very difficult structure. And that means that all of the supporting muscles are under terrible amounts of stress. When someone comes in with neck problems, cervical spinal disorders, and we find some degree of degeneration, and they fail to respond to the usual things that normally work, which are physical therapy, anti-inflammatory medications, and even in many cases, cortisone injections. When those people fail the usual treatments, we talk about surgery. The three things that I'm most commonly asked about and the three treatments that I normally prescribe for people who have cervical spine disease are going to be approaches to the front of the spine, approaches to the back of the spine, and what a fusion operation is. When a fusion operation is done, I'm taking one bone and adhering it to the next, which means some motion must be lost. However, in a laminoplasty, pressure is taken off of the nerves, however, no motion is lost, which makes it appealing. It enables me to actually remove a window of bone and actually replace the bone back where it belongs, taking pressure off of the spinal cord or off of the nerve roots that exit the spine while not actually changing the structure of the spine or limiting movement. Artificial disc technology represents an exciting new frontier in the field of spinal surgery because it actually restores normal motion to the spine while taking away pain, restoring alignment to the spine, and taking pressure off the spinal nerves. It's really very exciting.